Do you use content marketing? Does your business focus on expanding its brand awareness? How do you increase target traffic? In this video, I'm going to tell you about content marketing strategy that actually gives you a wonderful opportunity to generate sales using your blog, videos, Instagram account, YouTube channel, all of these means of communication with your potential and current audience. So here we are. So content marketing actually has plenty of goals. The most important of them are brand awareness, target traffic, trust of audience, and expertness. But definitely the main goal of the content marketing is increasing sales for your company. So content must sell, but smartly you're going to mind the balance. So the content must be both selling and attractive. And ideally your content is going to be divided into three big parts. The first one is SEO content on common topics connected with your company business. These common topics are going to attract quite a lot of traffic. And this type of content is going to have around 60% among all of the content your company produces. Next part, is the retention content, which is all about expert content your company is sharing with the world. This type of content usually shares 30% of all of your content. And finally, there is 10% which is given to the content that sells your product. So definitely the percentage may be different depending on the business, but there should be a balanced proportion. You're going to fail it, right? So you're going to pay attention to the ADA method, which is awareness, interest, desire, and action. So there is actually a very detailed video about ADA, but right now briefly about this. So awareness is actually the introductory content, well, something that you're going to attract people with, like funny shorts, some videos, some common articles, write ads, etc. Next is interest. That's actually a part for the expert content, and that's where you're going to hook your audience and say, hey, I'm an expert, you should trust me. And by the way, I have a very nice product. So this content is usually about the lead magnets, use cases, case studies, etc. Next is desire. And desire stage is usually all about your product. Now you're going to make your audience understand that you have a product with particular benefits that people who are about to buy it should know. Usually that is a product video or some instruction. And A is for action. And definitely that is the action to purchase. This content is usually about product solutions and some onboarding videos. What are the exact steps of launching content marketing? As obvious as it may sound, but you just have to start. And there is no secret sauce, there is just your company that knows your target audience and that knows what to tell the world about. So at first you'll move by touch, but then definitely you will understand how to master content marketing. Anyway, I have few pieces of advice for you. Now, once you start working on content marketing, you're going to ask yourself, what is content marketing about? And the answer is pretty simple. It is all about your OKRs. You are going to create the content that works on your business and on your product and actually on both to bring money to a company. Definitely, you are going to appoint a particular person or even a team who are going to work on your content marketing. Quite many of the activities are actually engaged into content marketing, like planning, analyzing, searching for some information, writing articles, producing videos, etc. Next, make up to 10 hypotheses. Like, hmm, what should be interest for my audience? What are they going to read? What is going to catch their attention? So once the hypotheses are on the list, you're going to start creating some content which may actually work on the hypos. That will definitely give you an understanding about the directions in your content marketing you're going to move. Next thing you're going to think about is how to measure the effectiveness of your content. So most 
metrics at this stage are top level metrics and sometimes they may be called vanity metrics but definitely you're going to build your content marketing around the target actions for your business around the particular steps people are going to take to get closer to purchasing your product so once you have enough understanding what to do about your content marketing it's time to launch your blog now everything is just beginning you're going to plan the content you're going to connect the content with your product you're going to synchronize quite many teams in your company around the content and you're going to acquire traffic plus definitely you're going to extend the team at some point of time so content marketing is a separate direction in your company but it is going to bring you quite many of fruitful results so a blog is definitely a great tool for traffic acquisition and that is definitely the time to think about the seo and you're going to find an expert who is going to work on the semantic kernel plus you're going to find the topics that are interesting for your potential audience, plus you're going to write the articles and stuff the text with all the keywords. Next thing about content marketing is definitely its connection with your funnel. So you're going to generate the content that works for each of the funnel stage. Don't forget that there is the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel, plus there is one more secret, which is the tone of voice of your company. Definitely are going to develop your editorial policy. Why the company needs it? Just simply to be recognized and definitely to stand among the competitors. But if you check all these principles one more time, you should pay attention to one more thing. Stay flexible, pay attention to trends, pay attention to your customers, pay attention to all the changes in the world and adapt your content marketing strategy to what is happening right now. So good luck with your content marketing initiatives and I'm inviting you to share your experience with content marketing and even your words about content marketing below. See you!